Hi everyone, it's Helen here. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today we are going to be playing with the Miniature Drum Gift Box Die Set. Now some of you may recognise this one. This was originally released, oh gosh, probably about three or four years ago now as one of my um, Christmas collections. I think it was called the Toy Box and it was a larger drum. We now have a smaller version of it and today I'm going to be sharing you exactly how to put this together step by step. Now this box is extremely useful you can pop treats in there it will even hold a mini bottle of wine in there as well isn't that fantastic and you can just add whatever gifts you want in there add a couple of candy canes you can make hot chocolate gift sets with this as well so many ideas so let's jump straight in right so let's go through the cutting guide first you get 20 dies in here that's quite a chunk so you need to die cut two of these so let's go through two of these we have some more dies in the center here that are going to help you create the top of the um, drum and then we have this side panel here this will cut five out at a time and you need ten so run this through twice and you'll get ten individual side pieces so run those through it does all the score lines for you and each panel here comes with its own matte die and a trellis die that fits in there as well so what I've done is I've run those through with some green mirror cardstock that is what is going to be on the side of our panels today I kept this one plain and we're going to be using the trellis today so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold all of the score lines. I'm going to use a bone folder as well and get all of those creased. Okay, so I've folded everything over, got both of these done, and I've just run this through with a die to create the hole for the center. So let's go back to the die set. This is the die set that, um, the nesting dies that I have used here. These two decagons. We use the smaller one of those two to create that aperture and now we're ready to fold everything up and it's really handy if you have a little bit of tape there where you can keep that little nested die in place whilst you run it through so let's start building the base first so we'll go with this one without the hole in so what we're going to do is we're going to add some wet glue here i find this a lot easier if you want to use red tape you can do so we have these two sections here they alternate so we have the side here without the wings and this one has wings there we go we're going to be concentrating on these ones first okay so we're going to be adding glue just to the outer tab and we're going to fold that over and roll it all up so that glues in place just like that to make to make a frame and then we're going to go round and we're going to do that with all of the bits with these little wings on. If you're using a shiny surface then definitely use um, a hot glue gun for that because this can take a little bit of time to dry especially if you are using it with something shiny. Okay, you should now have something that looks like that. So with these edges here, without the wings, just a quick dry run, add your glue just here, and then tuck it in over there, and you will have those little holes and connecting pieces filled in. And just a top tip, on these tiny little wings here, just add a little bit of glue either side of those, that should keep everything in place. Okay, so we have these two all put together now. As you can see, there's a tiny little rim going around the inside of this one here. This is what it looks like from the other side. So this will create our top. Oh, I was a little bit off center there, but never mind. Right, so we've got these 10 bits and bobs here for the sides. So I've already cut my mats already. As I said before, we're gonna be going with the trellis die and I'm just gonna grab my glue with the fine nib. It's a lot easier to use this. And it's essential that you add these before you um, 
add the top and bottom to the sides it's really essential that we do that Okay, so I've got everything all popped together now with all the mats on. All we have to do now is just join each segment together and I'm just going to simply use some glue for that until I have all ten in a line. Okay, so I'm just sticking on the last one and I want to give that a couple of minutes now just to dry off fully before I start to make a circle with it and in the meantime plug in your hot glue gun and get that heating up okay so that's had a few minutes to dry let's get that glued together Okay, so now we're just going to fold in all of these little tabs here and then we're going to add hot glue as fast as we can to the tops here. So let's do a dry run. This is going to fit into this lid here and we're going to pop it in there just like that, okay? So I've just scooted that round to line up all of the sides. So that is our base put on. Now let's sort out the lid. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add hot glue all the way across the top here. You do need to be quick for this. and just make sure it's all lined up properly right so now we need to add in our little teardrops here to uh, do the strings for the drum and I've got some gold twine for that as well And the easiest thing I can find to pick these up with is this quickie stick here. I'll see if I can find a link for that down below. Okay, so I've got some gold twine here and I'm just going to add this to our drum. So I'm going to go from each section like so. Just a quick dry run, one at the bottom there, and then we'll go back up to the top there. So I am actually going to use hot glue for this. And then once we've added our twine, we can then add our little teardrops over the top. Okay, now I've just got to the end there, just done the last one. Just grab your scissors, trim that last one off, and now we have all of these little teardrops here. So add yourself another little bit of glue. You can use wet glue here, but I definitely would recommend using um, the hot glue. Right, so I've got this pick up tool, the quick stick from We're Memory Keepers. This is going to pick this up really easily and pop that on there. Now I'll do the same working all the way around. So to finish this off, have a look at the Christmas characters die set. I have the Nutcracker here on this one i have some gingerbread men i might use the gingerbread men with this one i haven't decided yet so i've got the boy i've got the girl and i also have a ballerina so you can go for the nut whole nutcracker theme there or you could go ahead and use the stamp set as well there's also a stamped image there of the nutcracker that is a beautiful image too here he is so you can get really creative. So this will also fit the bottle of wine in there too. You can pop in some candy canes in with that as well. 
So let me know in the comments what you would put in your little mini drum. I think a hot chocolate gift set would be also really nice too to give as a gift. So if you love this new collection, Deck the Halls, do check out the rest of the collection. So here is the mini drum. I absolutely love this. There's so many things and goodie boxes that you could make with this. And if you love this one, you might also like the rest of the items in the Deck the Halls collection. We have the wreath box. The wreath box can also be changed up and you can also make this massive candy cane. Each section is a gift box as well. So you can put treats in each one. So it's very very handy then we also have the handy gift bag as well you can use it without the flap and the Christmas characters the Santa the Nutcracker the ballerina and the gingerbread people so I love this collection I still have loads more ideas so make sure you have subscribed down below because there's plenty more videos coming your way plus lives as well to catch up on if you haven't seen those already so thank you very much for joining me don't forget if you're a VIP you also get your 10% discount and I'll see you again soon.